Hey guys, it's Saturday morning in Texas. It's 80 degrees already and it is, and I quote, uh, 9.55 a.m. 81 degrees, but we've got a norther coming in or a cool front and that always happens. It, it warms up right before the front comes in and it's really close. The wind's fixed to turn out of the north and it'll be about 37 up here in the morning, which is very nice. Anyway, what I wanted to touch on, I had a viewer comment about she said she started a YouTube channel because of me and Bob Wells and some other YouTube channels she had watched. I hope the camera's straight. I can't see it. It's all black on this side. But anyway, I uh, just wanted to add a little flavor to that. Uh, good luck to you, first of all. Anybody that's starting a YouTube channel, good luck to you because you, know, you can make it easy or you can make it difficult. That's your choice. But now for me, uh, it's just extra money that allows me to go traveling. I'm 72 years old. I've got Social Security coming in. Got a little savings, not much, but it's just it's just plus money for me, and that that gives me the flexibility to do the things I do. Now, for other people, for some of the younger guys out there, uh, it may be their only income. Okay, and and that's where you get into a little work because then it's just like an eight to five job. You know, you're going to be running on the hamster wheel. Out, out in the boondocks. That's the only thing that's going to change. And if you really want to do it right, you're going to have to have some editing software and stuff like Bob Wells does, and Pneumatic Fanatic, and uh, you know other guys do out there. You know PewDiePie. You know these guys. They're not making money because uh, they're lazy. They're making money because they're working their butts off. You know. I mean, and, and they're, they. You know, there's a certain number of videos they try to produce on a regular basis, and that's the key right there. I promise you. Uh, Quality is one thing, quantity is another thing, but being predictable is the third leg to that stool. In other words, when you go to a, go shopping and the store says it, it's open hours from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Saturday or whatever it says, and you go there at 8 a.m. on Saturday morning, it's closed or it didn't open yet. You're not going to like that, right? So if you get used, people get used to you posting videos at a certain time, then what you're going to find is uh, you need to be predictable, okay? And I think that's very important. Now, here's what happens, and it, 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 it could have happened to me, but I didn't let it. Uh, it can take you over. The next thing you find is you're buying equipment that costs money. You, you, you want the cute little sound systems. You want, you know, the dash mount camera that's just perfect. You want the editing software, da 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 You can go on and on and on. And the next thing you know, you spent thousands of dollars, and you aren't making thousands of dollars, okay? You got a lot of nice equipment and you're doing some cute little videos but you know the view count is all that matters you know subscribers are nice it's always nice to have a base but you know if you watch but most channels that have a lot of, of, of subscribers uh, only a 10 to 20 percent of those people watch on a regular basis in my channel it's about 10 to 15 percent why because i don't do anything special you know there's no reason for anybody to watch my videos you know i mean i'm not uh, jumping out of an uh, airplane or I'm not uh, riding a bicycle off Mount Everest and I'm not uh, kayaking down some exotic river. You know, I'm, it's just me talking and, and enjoying my life and telling you what I know about RVing uh, most of the time. And uh, that's about it. And every now and then I take a trip. I take you guys along with me and, and that's about where it is. And that's why my, my channel's where it is. And let me tell you something else. You're, you're at the total mercy of YouTube total mercy in other words if they change their algorithm they can cut your views in half overnight for example mine dropped uh, in the last two days by about 30 percent okay why i mean i was getting like 18 20 000 views a day total for all my videos and, and then it drops down to 14 why well because it's not it, not because people aren't watching the videos or you know they would watch it's because uh YouTube changed something in the algorithm and my videos just aren't being shown as frequently. They just cut me out. Okay? Why? Because it's Christmas time and I'm not selling products. And that's what the advertisers want. The advertisers want me selling products. Okay? Even though I do use the Amazon link, which some of you guys have used and I really appreciate that. It's in every description of every video. But anyway, enough said about that. But the whole thing about YouTube is you got to know that you're at their mercy, and if you start relying on their income 100%, like I know a lot of these guys do out there that are boondocking and all kind of things, uh, that can end overnight. Believe me. 
that they can cut you off without conscience and they've done that to a lot of uh, video channels right now okay and uh, so anyway that my caution to the young lady that wants to start the channel is uh, have you a source of income that you can rely on uh, until you get your channel rolling that's step one step two uh, is uh, whenever you get into it and you're starting to make a little money don't let it go to your head because it can go away overnight and you're going to get comments from people that hate you you may get live threats i have i've had people send me emails and post stuff on on facebook they threaten my life you know they're going to come beat the crap out of me or something and all i say is welcome you know come on out guys you know if you want to try that you know maybe you'll win maybe you won't i give you 50 50 but anyway enough said about that because i'll get some people feed some negative feedback on that but whenever you're doing a youtube camera that's another thing you have to be almost politically correct uh, i'm not and I lose viewers because of it. I lose subscribers because of it. I lose subscribers because I did a video a year ago and they went back and watched my old videos and they didn't like that one, so they, they leave. That, that, does that bother me? No. But again, I do not rely on YouTube revenue. If I did, then, then it would bother me because I'd say, uh-oh, there went a penny, you know, but whatever. But anyway, having said that, that was the caution there on YouTube channel. This, and now moving to step two. Uh, for those of you that just, I, I'm going to name this uh, starting a YouTube channel or something. So for those of you that watch this video just to hear that one, you can turn the page on that because now I'm going to go to something else. So you can either click off or do whatever you do. Well, what I want to talk about now, the reason I'm heading into Kingsland, and this is Kingsland, Texas right here in the Highland Lakes area in Central Texas, USA, an unincorporated community. And I'm headed here today because I got a call. Somebody is very interested in buying my 2013 Jayco J Flight 26BH and I'm going here to the park and sale where I have it parked and meet with the individual and hopefully I can get that thing sold because that would be a wonderful Thanksgiving gift for old dad okay so anyway guys from Central Texas USA I'll end the video before I get to that place and uh, that's enough said about that so thumbs up carpe diem adios bye 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 usa maybe when you can drink plenty of water three or four quarts a day won't hurt you uh take deep breaths breathe in through your nose out through your mouth several times a day basically keep your health okay and having said that guys we're going to get up here and see what i can do about selling my rv adios amigos bye bye